Hey, what's up, beautiful people? I just hit record. Uh, we have mood lighting here today with Chris. I was showing him how our fancy uh, equipment works. He's very impressed by it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. You probably can't see. He brings microphones. <laughs> I mean, you gotta bring microphones to the bar. I'm gonna give everyone a quick shot of where we are. Um, oh, yeah, they can see the bottom. Yeah, it's very pretty. Uh, what is the name of this hotel called? Um, Marriott. Oh yeah, the JW Marriott. Here in, um, well, of course we're not in the United States. <laughs> uh, where are we at? In Dubai. So, you, know what, you know what I'm gonna throw in there? What? If anyone can comment on this post, figuring out the mathematical pattern of those bottles. <laughs> well, we have to I'm show it to this again. This. Uh, here, let's show it again. Voucher. Free exam voucher. <laughs> so there you go. There's the uh, bottles. What, what did you just offer everybody? Free exam voucher <laughs> to the first one who in the comments leaves the mathematical formula, the pattern. <laughs> so we, we're, we're having that conversation earlier. As um, I'm doing research, <laughs> uh, Chris is Chris is just messing around. I've been doing research all day, and so maybe my research is just less serious. Well, yeah, you need to step up your serious game. I need to step up a lot of things. Um, we're gonna have a conversation you can today. Tell, this was full before I started talking. He eats one of these every time <laughs> I'm wrong about something. This bag was full just at, what an hour ago. Just an hour ago. And I've said what two things. Yeah, it's, it, I think Chris is primarily the reason I'm fat is because whenever I see him eat a lot of these gummy bears. I bring you one bag of gummy bears two hours ago, and I'm to blame. Yes, it's never my fault. You know, it's a good thing I don't see you in the states. <laughs> it's true. Um, so part of we had a conversation about a lot of stuff, and uh, so I was like, "Hey, Chris, let's talk about." Why we never see each other in the States, we only see each other on this side of the ocean. Yeah, that was after you admitted off camera that humans actually are awesome. Oh no, humans no, let's, still let's suck. Move on. No, because yeah, he's yeah. on camera, Yeah, yeah humans he doesn't want to. Let's stay on topic for all the wonderful people who know that humans suck. You know I had to slip it in. It's fine, humans still suck. Um, we're going to talk about why humans suck more later. Even the ones who bring you gummy bears? I mean, there are exceptions to the rule. So if you see me and you bring me some gummy bears, the odds of you sucking probably drop exponentially. Uh, however, if you see me and you don't have gummy bears and you ask me a question that you can Google, the odds of you sucking go up exponentially. They go up to an exponent. Um, so I'm right in the middle. I show up with gummy bears and ask dumb questions. <laughs> Some dumb questions you can't Google because not even Google will respond. I'll be like, move along, Chris, move along. Uh, so we were talking about why um, why don't we see each other in the, in the U.S. and where is the U.S. at in terms of its position globally for blockchain, fintech, digital transformation, etc. So I'm going to let Chris take this away. <sighs> well, you got to throw your two cents in there, too. But here, let, let me get you some gummy bears while I share my thoughts. Excellent. Uh, you know, for me, I think it comes down to, to two things. Um, we've hit a, a point of complacency in our attitudes in the States, and uh, that's because we've been tremendously successful. We're a tremendously wealthy country. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, I think anytime you, you have that kind of success and wealth, it's natural that you're going to get a little lazy and complacent, and we need to shake ourselves out of that. Um, I also think a, a big contributing factor is that most executives are looking 90 days ahead. The really forward-looking ones are looking 365 days ahead. And those are incredibly short time spans in the rest of the world. So if you're expecting to implement something like blockchain or any kind of massive digital or aka cultural transformation in your organization, um, you're not, you're not going to see that transformation complete, much less reap the benefits of it, in 90 to 365 days. You have to be thinking five years out, 10 years out, 20 years out. Um, and the businesses that are doing that, that aren't living and dying by their quarterly reports, um, seem to not only be adopting the technology a lot faster, but doing a lot more with it. I didn't see you eat a single gummy bear. I must not. I mean, no, I, I snuck in a couple okay. at the beginning right. and you took all in right. a breath. All right. Um, but no, I, I, I agree with all of the above because quarterly reports ruin long-term performance. Uh, they ruin your ability to think strategically beyond the next two moves or beyond the next three months. So from an American perspective, uh, I think Chris said it best earlier, there is nothing small in Dubai. So they have the biggest airport, the biggest conventions, the biggest meetings. Um, we're going to Gitex, Gitex, however you say it, um, tomorrow, day after that. 
And so they don't do anything small in Dubai. They don't do anything second. They want to be first in the world. So they took the American ingenuity, that cultural thought and paradigm that they could do everything bigger, better, faster, and more efficient than everybody else. And then they put a ton of budget behind it. Um, and so that, I think that really pushes it. As you can see, even from the bar that we're sitting in, it's not necessarily a tiny bar, but it's actually not even the biggest bar you can find here in Dubai. Because um, they've identified that they want to be a, a first mover and a global shaker. So, sorry, we've been drinking uh, old fashions. Um, <laughs> and so Dubai has said in a very big way that strategically they want to be first in the world and they've been putting the resources behind that to have crazy people like myself come from Washington, D.C. so that I only see bearded people like Chris on Lord of the Rings are when I'm here in Dubai. So, yeah, I think that pretty much sums it up. Yeah, I think that's, that's telling when you look at the mathematics. We're uh, about a three and a half plane hour ride away from each other. And but I, I don't think we've seen any, any of each other outside of Dubai. Oh, so 16 hours away. Uh, Paul McNeil, uh, Crypto 360 market, right? He lives in Sterling, Virginia, which is maybe as the crow flies 35 minutes away from me. I have never seen him in America. Um, there you go. But if I happen to be in Dubai, I'm like, hey, what's up, Paul? <laughs> uh, so if you'd like to have a meeting with either Chris or myself, uh, if you happen to be in Dubai, you should either send us a uh, Instagram or a Twitter, because we were having a conversation of what methods, what mediums do we actually respond to. So for me, if you send me a Twitter or Instagram, I will say, oh yeah, I'm in such and such city as well, or I'll be there at X. Uh, I don't know. Chris doesn't respond to emails, so don't send him an email. Waste of time. Yeah. So is there a way for them to get in contact with you that you will respond to? No. If you have my email, hit me up there. If not, blockchain beard guy on LinkedIn, shoot me a message. Uh, be patient with me. They pile up, but I will get back to you. Excellent. So that's the only video for the moment. Uh, we'll probably see each other again in a couple of weeks. And what should we talk about? As a matter of fact, tell us what you want to actually hear about next time we happen to be around each other, which will be in a couple of weeks, and we'll talk about that. Then. We just do a regular show live from Dubai. I guess. I mean, we could probably pick somewhere quieter than a bar, but then we couldn't drink. So we'll have to run this by the executive producers uh, and see what they say. Maybe they'll set up a green room <laughs> for us. All right. Well, cheers, everyone. Cheers. Come out to Dubai. Clink. See you oh. sometimes. Bye-bye. <laughs>